Okay, so you've worked really hard and this work has allowed you to earn a good amount of money either through your specific job or as an entrepreneur. Now, since you realize that you can only work so many hours in a day, your goal is to find a way to build wealth and have money work for you. So you look to the stock market where you're looking to invest in high quality companies that are going to allow you to enjoy the benefits of making a good investment over the long term either for yourself or for your family or those people that you most care about the problem of course is that this process is very time consuming and sometimes can be a real pain hi everyone my name is Guillermo and I've analyzed over a billion dollars worth of real estate deals working at one of Canada's largest real estate investment trust and in this video I'm gonna share with you how it is that you can build a high quality custom stock screener in Google Sheets that will allow you to uncover really valuable investment opportunities fast. The best part about this screener is that all of the data will be automatically populated for you so that you only focus on the analysis and therefore you can build wealth for yourself faster. The first step to building your own custom screener in Google Sheets is to find the list of companies that you want to analyze. This is where it's really valuable if you have a list of companies or a particular investment thesis and what I mean by that is that let's say that you work in the financial industry and you really understand how banks work and you want to invest in bank stocks in that case what you can do is look for a list of this particular stocks and then analyze them through the metrics and the data that you want using the custom screener that I'm gonna show you how to build in our case we're going to analyze semiconductor stocks but really you can do this for pretty much any type of stock or industry or sector that you like so for that all you need to do is type in semiconductor stock list in Google and something that is really important to know is that we're going to be using the Yahoo Finance ticker system so right away the cool thing is that this link shows up from Yahoo Finance and so from here as you can imagine we're gonna be able to get the list of stocks that we want so in this case we have all these different semiconductor stocks and all you need to do is go ahead and just copy paste the list of symbols in your spreadsheet as you can see now I have the list of stocks that I want to analyze based on yahoo finance and this stock list can be literally as big as you want i'm going to show you how it is that you can literally apply this method for thousands and thousands of companies at once after you do this what i recommend is that you get the list of parameters or data that you want to get for your screener so in this case as you can see i have the p ratio price to sales price market cap revenue revenue ly4 free cash flow total assets etc so first First, what I want to do is show you what data is available for this method. For that, you're going to need to navigate to this page, whysheets.io slash available data, and you can click right here on the screener data. This page is constantly updated with new data that becomes available. And from here, you can see the different kinds of data available. So in this case, this is the life price. There's also obviously financial data and key metrics. So this is stuff from the income statement. Uh, here we have some other stuff from the key metrics. The cool thing, of course, is that you can use the search right here to see what data is available and how the data is spelled. That's one thing you need to be aware of. You need to spell the data exactly the same as here. However, the spacing and the capitalization do not matter. So let's say you want to get live price data. What you need to do is just copy paste it. So you would just bring it to this other spreadsheet right here. And what you could do is just copy it again and then paste it. Let's say this was where you want to get the data. You can click on edit paste special and then you can do in this case transpose so that way you can get the data in the structure that you can see right here at the top so what we're gonna do is get rid of this and now this is where the real magic comes into place which is getting the data but before we get into that I want to explain to you the way that this data works so in order to use this data there's different options there's TTM so this gives you literally their live PE ratio based on the current 
current price of the company and the latest earnings of the company for the last 12 months so basically taking the sum of the last four quarters uh, we also have ly ly means the latest fiscal year of data available lq as you can see right here this basically means the latest quarter and for this you can also do ly minus one ly minus two minus three blah 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 all the way to minus nine the same applies for the quarterly data so what that basically means is that you're taking the latest year and you're taking that minus one would be the previous minus two would be the previous before that and so on and so forth so if this is the revenue for this company in the latest fiscal year or let's say that's 2022 this would be five years before that so that way you could compare the revenue from now to the one uh, from the previous five years and that way you can do some interesting calculations and I'm going to show you how to do that as well so once you do that what you're going to need to do is use the Y sheets add-on this is an add-on that works for Google Sheets and Excel you just insert it uh, right here from this extensions and uh, what this is going to do is is going to allow you to pull in all the data that you want automatically so the way that this works is very simple you're going to select the list of companies click right here and this is going to highlight all the different tickers and again you can have literally up to 1000 tickers at once which is absolutely massive then you select the list of parameters that you're looking for so in this case we already have them click here and then after that is going to be super simple you just need to click on get data and this is going to be able to pull all the data that you want at once extremely extremely fast so as you can see now we have all the data and this includes historical data and real-time data you can see the price and the market cap for all these different companies and this creates a bucket this bucket is something that you can remember so you can change the name so that way you're able to recall what kind of data is saved here and this basically saves the range of tickers and the parameter range so once you have this you can always just go back click on refresh data and this will give you the latest data available especially for price data you will see how this will refresh and give you the latest price uh, for this particular list of stocks of course you can also get rid of this bucket and create as many buckets as you want pretty much and that's how you get data for a lot more companies you just keep creating new buckets now this is one of my favorite parts and that is once you have the data do you can do some really interesting things with the screener so for example what I can go ahead and do is select all the data that we have right here click on sort and filter which you can see here and this is going to create a filter for all this data so now I can reorder the data based on certain criteria so for example some Something that you can do is sort the revenue in this case by the lowest revenue first you can also do the opposite by going the other way you can also sort the companies by the lowest PE ratios the highest PE ratios you can also filter and say uh, only show me the companies that have PE ratios above 20 per se or below 20 it's really up to you how you want to customize and what you want to do once you have the data one last thing that I want to show you before the end of this video is how it is that you can incorporate formulas into this so we have the revenue for the latest year and from five years ago so we're going to create another field so in this case i'm going to go ahead copy this and i'm going to call this five year revenue growth and again i'm just making this just to illustrate to you how you can create any field that you want and we're going to calculate the percentage difference between these two numbers so we take the latest number we subtract the previous number so that is the previous revenue and then we divide all of this by the previous revenue and this is going to give us the revenue growth for the last five years so we can format this as a percentage double click here so that way we get this for all the different companies and by the way if you see unavailable this basically means that probably this company is relatively new so there's no data but don't worry you can also just click here and eliminate this company if you want this is a good illustration of what happens when the data is not available so once you have 
this custom field again you can create a filter and say show me the companies first that have a higher revenue growth than this particular amount or something that i actually really like to do is to use conditional formatting in order to add the conditional formatting what you need to do is go to right here to this format tab click on conditional formatting which you can find right here and then this is going to pull this menu that you can see right here and from here you can highlight different cells based on different criteria so for example let's say that we want to do greater than 20 percent so if this is greater than 20 percent we're going to highlight this particular cells to be this color we could also create another rule that says if the data is less than 20 percent then we're going to highlight this and put them as red like this so as you can see this gives you some pretty interesting ways to visualize the data and as you can see putting everything together you can build some really powerful screeners that you can use to find those juicy stocks that are going to make a difference in your portfolio now you know how to build a custom stock screener in google sheets and most importantly how to use it so that you can uncover those valuable investment opportunities that are going to make a good difference in your life and your wealth if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one